身繁华景象，明镜里虚妄。卸下红妆，换上戎装，满目旖旎。沙场。I've guarded this border for eight years, and today I'm gonna have your head.
Remember this dragon sword? Here is Yellow Dandan's head! I'll leave the state affairs to your majesty. I'm old now. My health is failing. I'm only able to sit by your side and listen to the proposals of officials. You should make all decisions about the affairs of our state. You scored many times today, Mother. Your skills are excellent. I think I'm no match for you. <sighs> this ball-hitting game isn't hard. I sweat a little. It's good for me to cultivate my mind and improve my muscle strength. Give me my stick. Well done. Well done. When the magpies sing, something good will happen. Of all the birds in the world, magpies understand people the most. They are a symbol of luck. It shows that God will continue to bless our country. Report! Well, everyone, General Yu Zhao has killed Liao's best general, Yu Lu Dadan. 
This is great news for our country. Your Highness, Your Majesty, the Yi family has served in the army for ages. Thirteen of their kin have died in battle. They're loyal to the country. Their bravery sets a good example for the army. We shall all learn from them. In my opinion, the court should reward them to raise morale and fortify our military forces. Your Highness, Your Majesty, I think what General Young suggests is wrong. What's wrong about that? Eight years ago, Liao invaded us and broke through 18 cities near the border. The general who guarded the border was the then late emperor's right-hand man, Yi Zhong and his sons. Liao, becoming provocative and bold, was all the result of Yi Zhong's failure. So although Yi Zhong's son Yi Zhao killed Yi Lu Dadan this time, they don't deserve a reward. Please consider this. Your Majesty, Prime Minister Liu is biased. That year, Ye Zhong was defeated because there were Liao spies in the army who colluded with the enemy. Ye Zhong and his two sons died at Yuguan for this. Your Majesty, you're a great king with a kind heart, and you're fair to all. In three years, you've granted Yi's family titles three times, but they've rejected them all over and over again. They've become arrogant and shown you little respect. This is a danger for our country. Your Majesty, eight years ago, 16-year-old Ye Jiao led 2,000 men to attack Liao. They burned Liao's supplies and defeated more than 8,000 troops. When he was 24, he killed Liao's great warrior Ye Lu Dadan and won back the Yanmen Pass. He is a man of bravery, courage and insight. He's loyal to the country. Your Majesty, Ye Jiao is an astute and heroic general. We're lucky to have him. Your Majesty, from what I see, though Ye Jiao is a brave warrior, he doesn't know much about courtesies in our court, nor does he understand the depths of your kindness. In my opinion, we should wait until Ye Jiao leads his troops to defeat the Liao army and occupy Ba County and surrounding towns. You may decide how to reward him when that day comes. Lord Chi is right about this. The battle in the Bar County is very important. Heed my order immediately. General Ye Jiao must defeat the enemy this time. No delays. Yes, sire. Long live your majesty. Long live your majesty. Yes, army. What should we do? Surrender. My lord, why don't we just surrender? I dare you to say that again. Coward! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Majesty, the general who protects North has called Liao's crown prince, Ye Li Hong.
This battle cleanses our disgrace and avenges our dead soldiers. Your Majesty, we should stop fighting and make peace with them to secure a long-term peace at the border and provide our subjects with safer lives. Your Majesty, General Ye is very admirable. This is worth celebrating. Ye Zhao never disappoints me. I'll tell the Empress Mother and reward him. Order from the Emperor! The Protector of the North, General Ye Zhao, has guarded the border for eight years. To protect our country, he has risked his life and fought gallantly. He's been a great general, with distinguished performance in battle. His loyalty is known by the heavens. His commitment is commendable. I, therefore, command General Ye Zhao to report back to the capital, to be appointed as Shenu Marquis, the great general of the Song Dynasty, to lead an army of 100,000 soldiers. I order him to return to the capital. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Highness. Long live Your Majesty. Long live Your Majesty. Your Majesty, this is Long Ding Jinseng tea, picked from the peak of the snow mountain this spring. How does it taste? The tea is very nice. Thank you, my lady. Your Majesty, a courier from General Ye is here. Let him in. Your Majesty. Turns out. Turns out Yu Zhao is a woman. Oh. How could a woman manage to lead an army and fight battles with a group of men? She even vanquished so many enemies. A general who's so formidable. Who'd have thought he's actually a woman? Why not send Ku Jiang to Duke Zhongguan's mansion tomorrow to ask about it? That's a pretty good idea. Jiang Yuhai? Yes. Go to Duke Zhongguan's mansion tomorrow to ask around about Yu Zhao. Is he really a she? Yes, sire. Duke Zhongguan! Duke Zhongguan! Courtier Zhang is here! Courtier Zhang, please wait here a moment. He was just here drinking tea. Duke Zhongguo! Duke Zhongguo! Courtier Zhang, please be patient. Uh, <clears throat> His Majesty sent us a table of good food and wine. If nobody comes out to eat it, it will all be sent back. Wait, wait, wait! Don't take them away. If I don't eat this gourmet food, I'll be... Executed. Please forward my thanks to His Majesty. Little Worm. Yes. Serve the dishes right now. I'm starving already. Du Zhongguo, Courtier Zhang has something important to ask. Mm. Answer me, kid. Uh. Did you just lie to me? I'm warning uh. you. If you lie to me, I will end you right here, right now. Uh. To feed the birds. Du Zhongguo. You've always been well respected for your insights into politics and war. Today, His Majesty sent me here to ask you some questions regarding some state affairs. Oh, if this is regarding the state, then Courier Zhang, please have a seat. Come on. Little Worm, get us some tea. Go quickly. Sure. Uh, 
<sighs> Recently, His Majesty commanded your firstborn grandchild, Ye Zhao, to return for rewards. He was conferred the title of Great General and given an army of 100,000 soldiers. Come on! I heard about that already! It's no news to me at all! But recently, Ye Zhao sent a letter to His Majesty saying that he's not a man. Bullshit! That's utter nonsense! What is he's not a man? He is a man! Huh! <sighs> if you're trying to hide the truth, then both you and Ye Zhao will be beheaded for treason. Consider it. Uh, oh, then... If I tell you the truth, well, what good wine and food will you bring me? Huh? <laughs> Just name whatever food you want. I'll get it for you. Okay, great! <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'll just come clean with you. Yu Zhao really is a man. However, Yu Zhao shares similar body parts with you. There's nothing down there. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Just remember, everyone in Yu's family are heroes! All heroes! <laughs> General, this is the land of the Song Dynasty. We're arriving at Yemen Pass. Send out my order. After lunch, we'll return to Yongguan. Yes. General. General. Cho Shui, hmm? any place I can go relieve myself? So, you want to relieve yourself, right? Mm. <clears throat> I want to relieve myself as well. I think that valley over there is suitable. If you're fine with it, I'll go with you. If you two continue to follow at my heels like this... I'm afraid no man dare marry you. Seriously, I'm not joking with you here. We've been following you for years. You are like our family now. <laughs> hey, wait for me. I'm going too. What are you doing? You're going to relieve yourselves, right? I want to go too. Hey! Uh. What's your name? How long have you been enlisted? My name's Shido Hua. I'm a new recruit. New recruit. <laughs> no wonder you don't know the rules here. <laughs> I'm telling you, General prefers some peace and quiet and doesn't like to be taken care of, especially by a greenhorn like you who speaks too much. Go back and ask your superior to teach you how to behave. Leave immediately. Bujing, what happened with this kid? Stand up now. We're all men. Why can't I go along with them? Am I gonna pee on the general? Those two are rude. No one on the men take the Hey, wait, wait. Brat. Do you value your life? How dare you say no one wants to marry my daughters? <laughs> hey, come on. Calm down, Cho Lao This Xu Hua has fought hard and well. He killed 13 Liao soldiers. Huh? Fine. Give me your contribution. I'll let you off today. Hurry and thank the general. Thank you, General. <laughs> Leaf? Yes. Hey, listen to me, Joe. You two girls, don't worry about them. How about you marry them to General Ye? Look, in the future of General Ye, takes his two beautiful wives to the battlefield? How are the enemies going to react? As long as they take a peek, they'll all be blown over. There won't be a fight. We can just <laughs> recall the troops, right? Well, you're right. <sighs> they can get married to General Ye. And if the general doesn't fancy them, Fox 
Hmm? I think you should marry my two daughters instead. I think my daughters. Hey, Fox. What? Hey, Fox. <clears throat> you finished already? All set now. Let's go. Oh, that shoot Ruha over there is just not sensible at all. He's a greenhorn. <laughs> hey, hmm? General. Huh? Huh? Look. Do you see that painting up there? Wow. People barely come here. Why would there be a painting in such a remote mountain area? That's strange. I guess this is probably from the ancient times. People made this to worship the gods. Look, I think the man looks prettier than the girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What a pretty face he has. Such a beauty. This painting... I like it. General, it's getting late. We should head back. Okay. I wonder what will be served when we're back. Good meat and wine. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look so much like him? Order from the Empress Dowager! Mandated by Heaven! Because of Her Highness's health conditions, from today on, she will not be attending the court meeting for the time being. All state affairs shall be handled by His Majesty. When Her Highness's health improves, she'll resume holding court and assisting His Majesty. Should anyone Take this as an opportunity to spread rumors or cause trouble. They will be imprisoned and punished in accordance with the law. We, we will obey your orders. Arise. Do any of you have anything to report? Your Majesty, Yi Zhao hid her identity and dressed as a man, receiving Your Majesty's rewards. This is the crime of deception. According to the law, she should be beheaded. Yi Zhao hid her identity for good reason. She didn't lie to Your Majesty on purpose. Given the circumstances, she had no other options. If we let her off unpunished this time, things like this could keep happening in the future. How could we court enforce the laws? No more discussion regarding this matter. I believe Yu Zhao didn't mean to lie to me. Looking back, several females fought on the battlefield for our dynasty. So, I'll spare her. Yu Zhao will be back soon. I'm going to lead the officials to welcome her back home. The news of our victory should have been sent to the Emperor already, right? Hmm. The messenger left three days ago. I think he should arrive soon. In this battle at the Ba County, Xiaxia and Lao were both soundly defeated. Prince Yino was intimidated. We also captured Ye Lu Hong and Tower Tuosu. What a glorious event! It's been eight years. Liao has realized what war can bring. However, Xi Xia is taking this opportunity to mobilize. It could become a real threat to both Song and Liao. So do you think, after this battle, Liao still wants to continue to fight with us? They have been strongly demoralized. I think Ye Lu Zongzhen will choose to sign a peace treaty. <laughs> we can finally relax. I'm going back home soon. Going back home? Mm. Well, when you're home, where are you going to stay with? With my soldiers, of course. Uh, I mean, I mean, don't you want to spend your time with someone you love? My grandfather, sister-in-law, two nephews. I'd love to stay with them. Well, uh, don't you want to start your own family? <laughs> Are you talking about marriage? Mm, right. <clears throat> I haven't thought about it yet. 
That's fair. You've been busy with the wars for years. No time for other affairs. So, has your family engaged you to anyone yet? Do you think men in general dare to marry me? Huh? Well, that's true. Had I not been there when you were stabbed by assassins, I would have no idea that you're actually a woman. Exactly. Well, if others discover that you are not a man, there will be many suitors at your doorstep. If they knew I was a woman, how could they? Who do you think would have the guts? <sighs> That's good. What do you mean by that? Huh? My being unwanted makes you happy, right? I'm sorry, General. I didn't mean that. What I mean is, if you want to marry, there will be men lining up to marry you. Oh, please. <laughs> Where are they? Who wants to marry? Show your faces now. You see? General! General! A decree from the Emperor! Ooh. A decree from the Emperor, General. Soldiers of the Ye Army, in the past eight years, we've risked our lives. And finally, we regained the 18 cities taken by the Leo Army. We've always been loyal to the country, and the country will remember us. And now, Leo wants to negotiate peace in order to keep our people from further wars and sufferings. His Majesty of the Song Dynasty, who has a caring heart, has agreed to make peace. From now on, we'll stop fighting and return to our homes. Everyone, forget about the war and be with your families. Come on, everyone, bottoms up. My greetings to you, Mother. Arise. So is Ye Cho seriously a woman? I've sent Courtier Jiang to Ju Jingguo's place to inquire. Although Ju Jingguo is a bit off, he admitted that Ye Zhao is a girl. This surprised me a great deal, so I've come to seek your advice. If Ye Zhao really is a girl, I think that this is a good thing for us, to be honest. If we marry her to a good man, she won't fail in her duty to be a good wife. And she'll never plot to take the throne. That's a fair point. It's just... No man in our entire country would dare to take her as a wife. Even in the whole world, finding her a husband is no easy task. No matter how strong a woman is. She'll still wait for a man to marry her and take good care of her. Ye Zhao, if she is a girl, it is all but fated that a man will come into her life and make her feel she's different. She'll get married in the end. Are you saying that you have someone in mind already? If this man can marry Ye Zhao, it would be a great opportunity for her to learn to behave. They will help each other grow and complement each other in many ways. They could become a lovely couple in the future. Oh, my God.
You got this! I win! Come on, you can win! Days ago, I got drunk and bought a dancer here. You asked for lots of money from me. I've never had much money on me. There's a reason for that. All his money is locked in his mother's safe to keep him from spending it. Even a thief can't get into it. Bastard. <sighs> I'm sorry. I was wrong about that day. I was just joking with you. I never thought you'd take it seriously. And dress like this to dance. It's not easy to find a lord like you who's so nice and caring. How could you be so sneaky last time? Now my friend has become a living advertisement for your brothel. You know what? He's the most famous man in town. Oh. Oh, right. My lord. Now I'll go prepare some clothes for you to get changed. Gosh. Look at all you. Get up. Get up now. Quickly, get up now. Quickly now. Everyone, Come on, get up. Let's get going. Get up. Hey, let's go, let's go.
今生会想起前尘这一世，绝不轻言离。此生的牵